A far-right rally in Rome is sparking outrage and condemnation today after dozens of men were seen giving a fascist salute on Sunday. So there is the video taken by the Italian newspaper, La Repubblica, shared widely on social media. Police are now investigating the people who took part, and many are calling for neo-fascist groups in the country to be banned. Megan Williams is on the story for us, and she's live in Rome. That'll be the first look at this video for many people, Megan, and it will be uh, upsetting to many. Tell us about what happened and what it's showing. That's right, Heather. It's a chilling video, um, may, largely because it's not from 100 years ago when fascism uh, took over the country. Uh, this is from Sunday. This was at a, a far-right commemoration. It's something that has taken place annually since the 1970s. That's when three extreme right activists were killed. Two were murdered, possibly by far left um, activists or members, uh, one by, by the police uh, during a rally. Uh, so this has been a, a, a yearly commemoration where members of the far right gather, and they've done this before. But I think what was so chilling is that, uh, as you say, this was shared by a journalist and went viral. And, and it really looks like something from 100 years ago during the rise of Mussolini's black shirt fascists and the horrors that followed. So there's been uh, widespread outrage um, f from members, from far right members of Italy's parliament as well. Uh, and calls for the police to investigate, which they're now doing. Um, the, the, the issue is, is that salute, unlike Germany, is not clearly banned in Italy. Um, you cannot, it is a crime to, to ha issue an apology for fascism, and that's apology sort of in the Latin sense of the word, a defense of fascism. You can't form a fascist party, but it's not totally clear that that ban, uh, that there's a ban on the fascist salute. Some people say there is, others say there isn't, but there is a police investigation underway. And not just police involved, but at the political level, Megan, as I understand it, opposition parties are demanding the Prime Minister, Giorgio Maloney, take action against these neo-fascists and these far-right groups. How has she responded? With radio silence. I mean, it's, it's important to point out that Maloney herself, the party that she founded, the Brothers of Italy, uh, sprang, sprang from a neo-fascist party. She herself in the past has attended the same commemoration. She admired Mussolini as, uh, as a young activist, far-right activist. She has since disavowed him, but no doubt she understands her base is loyal to her in part because of her identification with the far-right, and she has said nothing so far. Megan, thank you very much. Live from Rome this morning.